Welcome back to Inside the Middle East, coming to you from the old souk in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. An ancient crossroads for traders and religious pilgrims alike. In these narrow alleys, Saudis historically exchanged gold, spices, perfumes and even ideas. But in the digital age, the younger generation has a different forum to exchange their thoughts. This is our logo and this is our office. <laughs> There's never a shortage of laughter here in this tiny production studio outside Jeddah. Jokes and jabs don't offend these young Saudis. Hadir is, is the Justin Bieber of Saudi Arabia. This is, uh, like, girls this is what he really looks like. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just documenting this. And for 25-year-old Omar Hussain, it's just another day at the office. Uh, Hussain okay. is one of Saudi Arabia's few stand-up comedians. His stage, however, is the internet. Hussain hosts a parody news show on YouTube each month. And it's quickly become one of the most popular online programs in the country. If we create our own entertainment, خلاص, we preserve our culture. Um, you know, we're no longer reliant on entertainment that comes from abroad that doesn't understand it. Hussein's show is called Attire, or On the Fly. Attire is social and political commentary. Satire is a rare form of expression in Saudi Arabia given the kingdom's strict laws on public entertainment and on the media. <laughs> What we do in Attire specifically is that we, uh, we reflect something that's happening in the community in a comical manner and then it's up to you to decide what is right and what is wrong. Hussain and his friends, like fellow comedian Badr Saleh, have already gone viral. Attire, now in its second season, draws hundreds of thousands of hits. Even the mainstream media is paying attention. We got, we got New York Times. I'm sorry, they, they came first. You guys are slow. And uh, we have all the local newspapers. The company managing this duo, U-Turn Productions, is hoping to keep laughing all the way to the bank. Getting the first thousand views, now, uh, now we average 500, uh, 800,000 uh, a month or even a million. Attire spoofs sometimes controversial topics like manners during prayer time or the female driving ban. But breaking taboos? These guys say no. Okay, yeah, we're not breaking anything. Actually, no, no, we are speaking. That's it. There is stuff you can say without crossing any lines. Without crossing any red lines. The red lines everyone we spoke to agreed on are religion and the monarchy. But it's not hard to cross social boundaries in this conservative country. This skit, where a man hides his wife, embarrassed that she could be seen in public, mocks marital relations. I just want to show, expose some bad stuff in a, com ca in a comic way. Journalist Mohamed Bazaid launched his satire news show two years ago. He wants to give a fresh perspective on news to the two-thirds of Saudis who are under 30. He says it's an opportunity for Saudis to reflect and question what they're being told. The problem with traditional media is they tell you what you should think about a certain issue. And I don't want to drag that with me into new media. I want people to look at a news headline and think twice about what it means. Testing the limits of expression, though, is not without risk. This YouTube clip came out last year. The filmmaker Firas Bugna wanted to expose poverty in modern Riyadh. Firas' video took viewers into a poor neighborhood, but shortly after it went online, Saudi police took Firas into custody for questioning. He was released without charges. We requested an interview with Firas, but he declined. With a new generation of online commentators using their real names, 
Bazaid says keeping out of trouble is a matter of common sense. There's always a margin of concern. We are sometimes afraid, not of doing something wrong, but of being understood in the wrong way. The guys at U-Turn are also admittedly cautious. If you self-censor yourself, it's the best way to, to do this media that is accepted by society. Because our society, they like to, uh, you know, they want to be entertained, but they don't want you to cross any barriers. They don't want you to use, to use some sort of, um, some taboos. For all the young comedians here, there's still more work to be done. I don't think we have succeeded yet, but it's, we just started a year ago. It takes uh, generations to change a society. But already, this young team believes they are changing stereotypes. People say that uh, Saudis are not creative, Saudis uh, dr uh, don't have anything to give. And I think uh, these guys are changing that uh, perspective. Changing it with comedy, of course. Creative and good looking. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.